Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how to reduce a fraction to lowest terms, either a proper fraction or an improper fraction. Uh, so what that means is, for example, we could take this fraction, 12 over 54, and we could do a little bit of work on it, and we'll talk about what that work is in a minute, and we could reduce this thing uh, so that the numbers in the fraction are much smaller. Um, in this case, 12 over 54 equals 2 ninths. And the 2 and the 9 are the smallest two numbers that we could possibly get, whole numbers that we could possibly get in this fraction. Uh, but you might be wondering how we can actually do that. So let's, let's give it a shot. Uh, what we're allowed to do in a fraction uh, is we're allowed to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So what we can do is we can pick a number that will divide evenly into both 12 and 54 in this case. Uh, for example, there's more than one thing that you could choose. But for, for example, I noticed that 2 divides evenly into both 12 and 54. Now we're allowed to divide both the numerator and the denominator by that number. So what we get when we do that is we get 6, 12 divided by 2 equals 6 in the numerator. 54 divided by 2, you could either do the long division or you could just know that that is 27. Then you might think to yourself, well, could we do that again? And the answer is yes, you can. Uh, look at that for a little while, and you'll notice that both 6 and 27 can be divided by the same whole number evenly, by 3. Uh, six divides, uh, 3 divides into 6 evenly, and 3 divides 27 evenly. When you do that division, what you get is 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So you get this fraction 2 ninths which is 12, it's equal to 12 over 54 and they're the same fraction. Um, so, so let's try another one here. Um, 48 over 64 for example. What we can do is we can look at that for a little while and we can pick a number that divides evenly into 48 and 64. Uh, whatever number you want. Uh, I'm going to choose 2 because small and it should be pretty easy to do the division. Uh, divide 48 by 2 and what you get is 24. Divide 64 by 2 and what you get is 32. And then you might notice, hey, I can probably do that again to this fraction, make it even smaller. And hey, why not stick with it? Let's divide it by 2 again. You can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2 again. Evenly, you get 12 over 16. Okay, it looks like we could probably keep going. It looks like we could divide by 2 again, and then it looks like we could even divide that by 2 again. So let's uh, cut this down a little bit shorter, since I'm running out of room on my tablet here. And let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. Now I'm choosing all these numbers because I can just kind of see that, um, in this case, 4 divides both 12 and 16 evenly. Um, so what we get when we actually do this division is 12 divided by 4 equals 3, 16 divided by 4 equals 4. So when we can't divide uh, 3 and 4 by any common number uh, evenly uh, any further, so our final answer is 3 fourths. So 48 over 64 uh, equals 3 fourths, and 3 fourths is the most reduced form of this fraction. So let's try that one more time. Try this one on your own, see how you do. Um, try 6 over, oh I don't know, 15. And then while you're at it, you may as well try another one. Uh, try 8 over uh, 32. Try to reduce both of those fractions to lowest terms. Hit pause on your browser and uh, come back and see how you did. All right, let's give these a shot. Um, 6 and 15. You have to find a number that will divide 6 and 15 evenly. Uh, 2 doesn't work. Does 3 work? Yeah, I think 3 will actually work. So you can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Is there a number that will divide both 2 and 5 evenly? 
And other than one, uh, the answer is no. So two-fifths is our answer. How about 8 over 32? Uh, you might look at that for a second. You could maybe divide it by 2. Um, there, of course, is more than one way to do this problem. But let's, we notice that uh, 2 divides both 8 and 32 evenly, so let's see what we get. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 32 divided by 2 equals, uh, what, 16? Yeah. Um, then we have to look at that 4 sixteenths and ask, is that in lowest terms? Uh, the answer is no, because this can actually be divided even further. Uh, this 4 sixteenths you could divide by 2. You can even divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So let's give that a shot. Uh, divide 4 sixteenths, both the numerator and the denominator, by 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 16 divided by 4 course equals 4, and that looks like that is in lowest terms. So we've reduced, <laughs> technical difficulties, we've reduced this fraction 8 over 32 to the fraction 1 over 4. See you in the next video.